how to use Printify, Print On Demand, and Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. Now, if you're someone that's looking for a unique product and you don't really have the suppliers to supply that product for you, you have a lot of different print-on-demand platforms that you can use to create products on your own Shopify store. This is something that a lot of people don't realize that they have the potential to do on Shopify because whenever you think of Shopify, you're often thinking of dropshipping or sourcing products from another person and then reselling them on Shopify if you're someone that does not have their own product but you can create your own unique designs using Printify or any other print-on-demand platform. In this tutorial, I will be covering Printify. It's a simple and easy to use platform, plus they have a myriad of styles that you can pick out from. So you can make a bunch of different things other than just basic t-shirts. You also have some other types of items like canvases, frames, as well as mirrors, wallpapers, other types of accessories, phone accessories, home decor, blankets, and so much more. So let's jump right in on how you can integrate Shopify and Printify all together. So the first thing you need to know is that you have to build your Shopify store. If you haven't built that already, then I suggest that you watch our other video on building or setting up Shopify. Now on your online store, even if you have not set it up yet, let's cover some of the basics. So the first thing you want to do is head on over to online store in your Shopify account to make sure that your checkouts are enabled. You need to make sure that you have set up at least a bogus getaway for your Shopify store. So you need to make sure there is some kind of payment method available and you have also added your payment information for Shopify to uh, upgrade you to any of their plans even if you're on the trial then you need to add your payment info for you to actually be able to use the checkout now after that you can go into online store and then themes I'm currently using the dawn theme there are a myriad of themes that you can pick out from but I like to use the dawn one because it's simple basic and it serves its purpose now, after that, you want to click on settings on the bottom left. And once you click on settings, you can click on apps and sales channels again on the bottom left. Then you want to click on Shopify app store. Now over here, you're going to head on over to the Shopify app store and you're going to search for Printify. Now, once you search for Printify, you just want to click on Printify Print On Demand and they have a free plan available which you can natively integrate with Shopify. So you want to click on install over here. And once you click on install, we're just going to wait for this to be completed. Now, once you reach this screen, you just want to complete the installation of the Printify application. Now, a lot of people think they have to make their account separately on Printify, and then they have to manually take screenshots of their products and then add them over here. Then when they get a order, they're supposed to, you know, place the order for their own address and then re-address it to the supply or to the customer that you have or the client that you might have. So you don't have to go through all that hassle to use Printify you can integrate it like we just did into Shopify. Once you integrate it into Shopify, what you want to do is you want to create your account on Printify. Now you have a bunch of different methods you can create your account with. I already have a Google account, so I'm going to continue with Google. Now, once you continue on to your account or you create your new account, you will see Printify will open up directly in your Shopify store. So from here, directly in the Printify tab. Now, this is on your own. Uh, if you want to just use it directly in Shopify, you can. Or you can click on Open Full Site over here. And anything that you design over here will and can be added into your Shopify store. So I like to use Printify full screen because it makes it easier for me to design. Now you can click on the catalog over here and you will see all of the different types of products that you can design. Let's say we want to design this kind of tote bag. So I'm going to click on this tote bag and this will give me all of the information about the particular item. So the type of material, the fabric, how this, you know, if it's an eco-friendly product or if it's not, where it's sourced from and the tearaway labels. So after that, you can click on start designing and you can start adding your design. So you also have custom text, you have AI image generators, you also have Google Drive and other integrations available. 
So let's say I just want to add my own text like this. Let's say I just want to place this on the tote bag. Now you can add more designs as well. You can also see the colors that are available. So it's available in black, blue, and white. Let's say I only want to design it in this white side. Now after that, you're going to click on the back side and you can add a different design on the back side. For some products, only uh, some designs are limited to only the front. So for some t-shirts, oftentimes you only can add a design to the front. But for some, there is also the option of adding designs to the back. Now, after that, you're also going to see your product variants on the top right. So you will see color sizes and other types of variations in a particular product directly over here. You guys can see this is a one size product so there are no other sizes however there are color variations available if you're selling something like clothes there are also going to be size variations now once you are satisfied with your design click on save product on the bottom right now you will see a mock-up of your designed product so you can add or choose the ones that you want to add in your particular website or in your listing then you have your basic details you have your shipping automatically assign a new shipping um you know shipping partner or it will assign the shipping that you have set up in shopify then you have your pricing so you can click on this over here and you will see your profit margins as well as well as shipping costs now you can choose to variate the price so you can click on edit price and you can click on edit profit margin let's say i want a 100% profit margin this will obviously increase our price but one thing to note is that you don't want to increase your profit margin by a lot because the retail price is it's going to look a bit unrealistic so for us let's say a good retail price is $80 and I'm going to be getting $59 in profit this is still quite a large price hike and I wouldn't recommend you do these kinds of price hikes unless you have an established brand on Shopify now after that you have your visibility so you can choose to hide this product in store if you are currently still you know if you're currently still unsure about your design or you're just dabbling around in printify and you're not sure if you're ready to integrate it into shopify and you just want to see what the product is going to look like how you can design it then you can hide it in your store now after that you have your variant visibility so only show the stock variants and hide any out of stock variants or show all variants as available for purchase so this allows you to accept any order regardless of whether or not it's currently in stock. I like to keep the second option because we're not looking to sell items that we don't have. Now after that you will have your sync and then you have your Shopify categories. Obviously, the type of categories that you have added in your Shopify store are predetermined. If you have not added a, uh, a proper category for this type of item, then you can just add it to your homepage, later on go into Shopify, and then add the relevant category. So you want to click on publish over here on the bottom right. Once you do that, you can go on ahead and see that your product is going to be published. So in this way, you can easily use Printify and Shopify all together to create a amazing platform to sell different and unique products. So you can click on visit store over here to see what your product is currently looking like. So this is our store and obviously our store is not currently synced up but you will also see your automated order routing so in your order routing so you have some stock issues or selected print provider is experiencing significant delays they will automatically route the affected items to a different print provider so that your orders will arrive on time you can click on enabling this this is sometimes a bit tricky because sometimes the supplier that you have is going to be different from the one that you originally might have sampled the item from however printify does guarantee the quality of a product so let's say choose when and how orders are approved from your store let's say automatically and then after that we have notification settings as soon as possible and then we're going to click on save over here now after that i can click on my product and i can see my current product over here it's in the publishing phase and i can see i have duplicating options as well and you can head on over back to your Shopify store to see what your product is looking like. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.